Zero X Scope co-founder Philip Torres says it doesn't take much effort to spin up thousands of blockchain wallet addresses and pump up user metrics. Active user count can be a misleading metric for measuring the state of a crypto ecosystem as a small group of users can generate a significant portion of activity across multiple wallets are used the co-founder of a blockchain analytics provider. Zero X Scope's co-founder and chief data scientist Philip Torres told Cointelegraph amid the big and power extend that between monopolistic founding entities, bots, exploiters, and airdrop hunters, uh, as much as 80% uh, of blockchain activity can be generated by just a small number of entities, uh, despite looking healthy on the outside. Um, and um, these projects make a claim, uh, such as we have 10,000 active users. Um, well, we find out using the entity model that you have about 10 to 20 different uh, users that are controlling 10,000 different addresses, he added. Um, and sometime became uh, uh, the way they operate on chain is that one single person can have 10,000 addresses or more. Um, and then uh, it would seem to the outside observer as if those were 10,000 different people. Uh, Torres explained. Uh, the phenomenon isn't only present in small-scale ecosystems. Uh, Torres claimed uh, essentially all blockchain ecosystems see uh, varying levels of the activity. Uh, uh, he found the average Ethereum uh, user possesses at least 10 addresses, uh, adding that everything that happens on-chain is not what it seems. Uh, Torres noted there are legitimate reasons why uh, a user would have uh, multiple wallet addresses. Uh, uh, one of them could be explained easily as privacy concerns. Uh, people like to have different addresses just to not leave a big enough footprint out there, he explained. Uh, it could also be due to automated traders deploying multiple strategies on chain. Um, however, it has also been used for malicious purposes such as inflating a project's active user numbers to mislead potential investors, um, you know, creating a civil attack, uh, also known as a, as a big 51% attack or, or users trying to gain an upcoming token airdrop. One example came from the anticipated Arbitrum airdrop on March 23rd, which saw two wallets amass 2.7 million ARB from 1,496 wallets in a strategy known as airdrop farming. In contrast, the median airdrop size was only expected to be 1,250 ARB tokens, according to CoinMarketCap. We found two super airdrop hunters of ours, MBR, invest thanks that now receive what we work and find. Um, the MetaMizer general is uh, right out in X ply S of a two car. Um, we uh, uh, address it uh, on blockchain. It's very easy to control multiple public addresses, uh, Torres noted. Uh, Torres explained, unlike uh, email addresses, uh, creating and controlling multiple crypto wallets uh, isn't too complicated if you know what you're doing. Uh, it, um, some use what is known as HD uh, wallets, uh, hierarchical uh, deterministic wallets, which uh, generate a new key pair from a master key pair. Uh, simply put, it's a way uh, to generate multiple public addresses uh, via a master set of mnemonic words. It's very easy for one person to control multiple wallet addresses compared to how usually people do not have more than a few emails, he added. Um, 